In many of our past gaming videos, some of you have asked us, how can you actually stream your games from your Android into Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch? So today, I'm going to tell you how and also show you four different methods on how you can actually stream your games by using your PC because you want that overlay to have even more flexibility in terms of your interaction. So the first method here is actually to use something that is built into Windows 10 that's just called your phone. This is applicable to every single Android phone out there. You can just link your phone into the Windows 10 PC and then it will mirror your phone screen onto your Windows 10 PC. So the pros of this method is that you can actually use that your phone app as a companion while you're not even gaming. For example, you want to transfer your pictures you can use the, your phone app to just drag and drop. Everything is just very simple. But the cons is that if you want to live stream using the, your phone app, it doesn't have audio. So your PC will not capture any of the audio and your stream will be completely silent. So the next method here is actually to use something also built into Windows 10, which is to use it as a Miracast receiver. You can project your phone screen onto your PC using wireless display. It works, but again, it is also somewhat similar to the aforementioned method. It is relying on your network speed, quality, and this time around, you can also use wireless decks on your PC here. But the problem here is that once your PC has entered receiving wireless display mode, you cannot do anything else. The whole PC is just locked down and you will have to quit wireless display mode on your phone to actually gain access back to your PC. And then now for the third method, which is the simplest one of all, it's applicable to every single Samsung smartphones out there, starting from, I think it's the Galaxy S9, all the way to the current phone, even the S20 FE is able to do it, which is to just use the cable decks. So if you install the Samsung DeX app onto your PC, you can just plug in a cable and then use your phone on the PC with your keyboard and mouse attached to your PC. It's that simple. But the problem here is that um, you cannot screen mirror, so you have to use DeX mode only. It's workable for some games, like uh, let's just say Among Us or something like that. It works, it's just that it's not really the most ideal case ever. And finally, for the most versatile mode is to just use a capture card. Because all of the Samsung Galaxy Note and S series flagship smartphones actually do support HDMI over Type-C. So you can just use a capture card and then display everything on your Windows PC while you are still using the phone as it is. So this method is a bit costly, but it is absolutely versatile in terms of what you want to do with it. Uh, what we need here is Something like this. This is just a very basic hub from Ugreen. It has a Type-C output here and then a lot more other ports like uh, USB 2.0s, 3.0s for your keyboard and mouse. And then you also have HDMI output. So the next, what we need is a HDMI cable. So we attach it like this to the dock. And then on the other end of the HDMI cable, we just attach it to the capture card. And then this specific capture card will need to be attached to the PC via another Type-C cable, USB 3.0 Type-C cable. So with all of that connected, now what we need is just to connect this little dongle here with just a single Type-C cable to the phone. And then you can see here it says HDMI connected. And there you go. There's Samsung DeX. But if we head into the Samsung settings menu here, under connections, more settings and then we can change the HDMI mode to just screen mirroring. Then now you can see everything is just mirroring what I'm doing on the phone. So with the screen mirrored onto the PC via the whole contraption here and displaying on OBS, what we can do now here is to just pair the phone with a controller like this and then you can start playing games on your phone and then display everything via the capture card and you can start live streaming. It's just that simple. So let me just play Sky because it supports gamepad. You can also do it with games like, I think, Ashfault 9 because it also supports gamepads. So 
So as you can see here, I'm running the game called Sky and then I'm playing on a gamepad connected to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra via Bluetooth and then the whole contraption here is connected to the PC and then displaying via OBS. This is the most basic way to live stream via OBS but if you want to overlay more effects, more features and if you just want to talk to your viewers with a microphone then you can add that on as well and then you can add on even more animations and whatnot. So this whole contraption is actually very easy, you just need to connect it once Leave it all aside, and then each time you want to live stream, just plug in one cable to your phone, and then you can start streaming. You can also charge your phone while live streaming connected to this, because this hub supports another input port just for charging. So as you can see here, the delay is very good. There's no noticeable delay. And then, yeah, everything just works really well. And this function also works with something like the Galaxy S20 Plus, like I mentioned earlier. So imagine this, I can just plug this out, plug in the S20 Plus, and then the same thing happens. I can straight away mirror everything into the big screen. So yeah, that's how you can live stream using your Android phone, specifically the Samsung Galaxy flagship series of smartphones, Note 20 Ultra, S20, series including the S20 FE and yeah it's that simple and I hope you like this video if you have any questions do leave them down in the comment section below we'll try to help you out whenever we can and we'll see you in the next video